In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix your add-on not working on Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Now, there's multiple reasons why your add-on can't be working. And number one, you always want to go ahead and check the version of your add-on. You need to make sure that it is currently compatible with the version of Minecraft you're on. So as you're able to tell, at the moment, we are on Minecraft 1.21.73. So that means our add-on needs to be compatible with Minecraft 1.21.7. That is because each version of Minecraft is actually different. And sometimes, whenever a new update comes, it breaks like pre previous add-ons and it changes like the actual game structure and it, therefore a lot of old add-ons sometimes just won't work at all like say for example you were trying to get an add-on that was designed for an old version of minecraft like 1.14 then that is not going to work with the current and latest version of minecraft it will only work if you're also on minecraft 1.14 so you always want to go ahead and check the website that you did download the add-on from. Whether it be from mcpecentral.com or mcpdl, you just want to make sure that it is compatible with your Minecraft version. And a lot of times these websites actually do provide updates for add-ons as well. So go ahead and check for updates, you know, when it comes to the actual add-on itself, because a lot of times it is actually updated, uh, but a lot of times it isn't as well. Now, one of the most common issues I see when people are trying to download add-ons is that they don't actually turn on experimental gameplay. And experimental gameplay is what you need to turn on in order to run add-ons in the first place so let's say for example we want to go ahead and create a brand new world with some add-ons so we need to go ahead and press on create a new world right over here and then we need to go ahead and just set it to either creative or survival we also need to go to this left menu over here and then we need to press on experiments and basically you want to turn all of these toggles on over here i know a lot of people say you don't need to turn all of them on however i personally think you should just because there's some add-ons that use like holiday features and stuff like that and they use like specific features that are coming in the next update so as good practice i always go ahead and just turn all of these on and i recommend that you guys do the same thing as well and that leads me to my next point i see a lot of error where people only put the, like the resource pack and they don't put the behavior pack and sometimes they only put the behavior pack and not the resource pack and if you guys are completely confused basically a lot of add-ons consist of two different files a resource pack which we can see right over here and a behavior pack and you need to put both of them in order for the add-on to work so what i see a lot of times is that people forget to put one of these uh packs and that will just make the add-on not work so let's say for example we wanted to go ahead and actually use this capybara add-on right over here you'll notice that it will say bp and a lot of times they say bp because that is a behavior pack so go ahead and press on activate now i also do want to mention that some add-ons will only consist of behavior packs so do not worry some add-ons like for example i think like the uh double jump add-on or something like that or like fulbright it only requires a behavior pack not a resource pack so please keep that in mind and just double check to see that if your add-on has both a resource pack or a behavior pack sometimes it only does have a behavior pack and in that case you only need to select on the behavior pack but a lot of like more complex add-ons that add like new biomes or like weapons and stuff like that they will actually usually consist of both the behavior pack and resource pack okay so now that we got this behavior pack let's go over here to the resource pack and you will notice that it is currently activated so usually what happens is that if you already select on the behavior pack it will automatically select on the resource pack that matches the add-on itself uh but if you don't see that for whatever reason then all you want to do is you want to go ahead and select on available and then you just want to go ahead and search for the actual resource pack that you're trying to use remember guys uh you know just as a rule of thumb a lot of add-ons do consist of both a resource pack and a behavior pack so you need to download both of them all right guys and as you're able to tell our add-on is currently working because we did use both the resource pack and behavior pack but if you're still running into issues then one thing that you guys could actually do is turn on cheats because a lot of times certain add-ons will require that cheats be enabled so if you want to enable cheats then you need to go ahead and just press on settings right over here and then just wait for the actual like loading screen to load in okay then you need to go ahead and select on game and then scroll down and then you should see the option that does say activate cheats and you just want to make sure that that is actually turned on whenever you are trying to use certain features of an add-on so yeah that is definitely one thing i did notice and sometimes your add-on could actually be fully functional but the like new items in the actual add-on aren't in the creative menu itself so a lot of times what happens is you download an add-on and everything seems well but then you go to the creative menu and notice that none of the new features are there and that does happen quite often so so what i recommend that you guys do is actually open up your chat and then type in slash give and then app p and then go ahead and put in the actual name of your add-on so as you're able to tell this is the capybara add-on and if i did search up capybara you'll notice that yep it'll actually appear over here and sometimes what uh other like uh add-ons do is that they make you do slash function 
in order to get the add-on started first so typically it's like a command like function start or something like that and that could actually uh fix your add-on also another thing that i should also mention is that do not try to mix too many add-ons together because i did try doing that and sometimes the add-ons conflict with each other and cause the actual just whole game to like glitch out and stuff like that so you always just want to make sure that you just keep one add-on at a time uh obviously you can mix and match a few of them but not too many of them uh that is something that i did actually notice because a lot of add-ons use like the same base features from minecraft so it's really important that you only try to minimize the amount of add-ons you use at a single time now another thing that could happen is that you're trying to download an add-on and it just says incompatible or like fail to import or something like that which are all common errors then that could mean that there is something wrong with the actual add-on file itself okay for example we have an add-on file right over here and always you want to make sure that if you're on a desktop that whenever you try to load into the add-on it actually does have a minecraft logo on it and that is how you know that it is actually on the right track now what a lot of times happens is that you download an add-on and it comes in a dot zip file and basically you need to go ahead and change that you need to delete the zip and then you need to go ahead and just rename it to dot mc add-on so always make sure to unzip your add-on file before you actually start importing it to Minecraft. That is another important thing, guys. Just make sure to actually unzip your file and make sure that it does end in a .mc add-on, not .mc world or anything like that. But guys, if you're still running into issues, what I also recommend that you guys do is delete the add-on and then reinstall it again. So if you want to go ahead and delete add-on, then what you need to do is you need to open up settings just like so. Go to the left menu and scroll down until you see storage. And then over here, we will now see behavior pack. So we can go ahead and actually open up this folder and start deleting some stuff. So if you have like hundreds of add-ons like I do, that could actually cause issues in some instances. Uh, so what I recommend that you guys do is actually delete some add-ons and then try to reinstall it again and see if that works. Because that, sometimes that will actually get the job done. But if you guys found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. See you later, French fries.